Hello. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Now, um, what is a light year? People ask us all the time, what is a light year? Um, well, a light year is not a measurement of time. It's actually a measurement of distance. Although, if you're traveling at the speed of light, then it is also a measurement of time. So, I want you to, want to get started by, first off, how fast is the speed of light? Speed of light is 2.9979 blah 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 times 10 to the 8th. But for simplicity's sake, we're just going to say it's 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Pretty darn fast. Um, give you an idea, in one second, light can go around the Earth eight times. In one second, you can go most of the way to the moon. So the moon is a little more, about 1.3 light seconds away. So we're going to change this into light meters, into light minutes. So multiply it, there are 60 seconds in a minute. So if light goes this far in one second, in one minute, 60 times that, you get 180 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, or um, scientific notation, 1.8 times 10 to the eighth. Move over two places. I mean, times ten to the tenth. Oh my goodness! What is? Where is my brain? Times ten to the tenth. That is a light minute. Um, a light minute. Not quite from the sun to the planet Mercury, but if you got eight light minutes, you can go from the sun to the Earth, or from the Earth to the sun. Either way, um, that would be about eight light minutes. So. Let's go a little further. So one AU is about eight light minutes. So let's go a little bit further. Let's just say um, a light hour. So in order to do that, times 60 again, 60 minutes in an hour. And what do I get? I get 108 times 10 to the 10th. Move the decimal point twice. So I get 1.08 times 10 to the 12th meters I put down meters per second. Um, meters, 1.8 times 10 to the 12 meters. So this is way past the Earth. This is way out. You're getting round about nearest planet from the sun. And, you know, you're talking about Saturn. Saturn is about one light hour from, from the sun. Um, so that's basically what we're getting here. Uh, now, let's go a little bit further, a little bit further. So that's a light hour. There are 24 hours in the day. So we'll multiply that together. I get 2, 5.92 times 10 to the 12th, where, go over two points, 2.592 times 10 to the 13th. That would be a light day. Now, the fastest man-made object ever created were Voyagers 1 and 2. They launched from Earth when I was in diapers. And in case you're wondering, I did not take a very long time to potty train. That's just how long ago it launched from Earth. So the fastest things ever made by man launched when I was just a baby or a toddler. And right now, they're approximately half of a light day away. That's how far a light day is. But that's not quite to a light year. So we go down here, multiply this times 365.1, and you get 947 times 10 to the 13th. Move the decimal point over, and let's just round off. So we end up with 9.5 times 10 to the 15th meters. That is a light year. That is, um, if we had to do this, this is 9.5 million billion meters. It is a very long, or almost 10 trillion kilometers if you prefer. It is a very, very long distance. That is a light year. Now, by the way, if you were traveling at the speed of light, it would still take you a very long time to get to our nearest neighbor because the nearest star is about four of these away from here. So even a light year is a hugely long distance. You would still, there's just nothing out there. There's no other star within a light year of here. You have to go at least four light years to get to the nearest star 
um, and hopefully find something there. If not, you, I guess, turn around and come back. Um, but yeah, this is how far light year is. It's a very, very, very long distance. So in case you're wondering, how long is a light year? Well, there you go. One light year is that. I hope you've enjoyed that, and have a nice afternoon. Bye-bye now.